Now is the best time to collect supplies. <laughs> that have befallen us all may be laying at my feet. I apologize. Still, there is a chance to fix matters. I cannot do it alone. I'll need each and every one of you. You have my thanks. To begin, we must verify all we know. Dr. Rachel managed to deceive Cujo. She asked him to bind the Emeth device into the tree. The device awakened her. Now her will holds both Julius and the spiral tree in her sway. Once more, she aims to unleash the apocalypse. Unless we can rescue Julius, she will succeed. And that brings us to our plan of attack. Please, observe. As before, we will carve out a path and secure it with the control devices. Our main obstacle is the constant vortex of active oracle cells that guard the entrances. We believe we can use the same power that forced the Aragami mass retreat to get past. The resonance from Romeo's God Arc attenuates oracle cells. It can even slay weaker Aragami. Using the power bound up in his God Arc will dissipate the oracle cells and enter the tree. We have no control over Romeo's God Arc. His power can't tell the difference between Aragami Oracle Cells and our God Arcs. Livy does have control, or rather, she can. In time, she can bond with his God Arc and gain some measure of command over it. What say you, Director Sakaki? All of Blood will serve as a support unit for Corporal Livy, so she can give her complete focus to controlling Romeo's God Arc. Captain. As with Julius's arc, your evoke skill may help her to draw forth some latent powers. I want you to stay by her side every waking moment. We will range into the tree, find the source of Rachel's will, and eradicate it. Once our mission is complete, we will find a way to save Julius. Only he can stop the apocalypse. Any questions? team dug through Cujo's logs and journal entries. It revealed a mass of unreported meetings with Dr. Rachel. We're still sussing out the details, but right now it seems more than likely she abused his affection for her. Rachel was clever. She brought him into her scheme as a failsafe to ensure that even if she died for the cause, an apocalypse would rise. Pull it up on screen. As you can see, Cujo secretly installed the Emeth device in one of our control safeties outside the tree. It was triggered or timed to release during the dedication ceremony. You all I suspect the doctor's primary goal was to stall Julius, thus creating a path for Cujo himself to enter. His secondary task was to compile a device that would serve to reconstitute Rachel's will once he had broken free. Once deployed, it did just that, locating and rebonding what remained of Rachel. Once the entire construct was under her control, she was able to seek out another source for the apocalypse. I can tell you what I know about the Emeth device. Upon examining Cujo's terminal, I discovered blueprints for a modified version of the device. It began as a form of the autonomous control system developed for unmanned God Arc soldiers. But it can do far more than just that. 
You see, the entire concept of the Emmeth device was Rachel's. It was meant to stall Julius and recompile Rachel's memory once she was consumed by the tree. Romeo's blood power repels oracle cells. It shuts them down. It affects anything with oracle cells, right? So, God Arts and Bias Factors are just as vulnerable. Precisely. God Eaters are not exempt. It is a perfect double-edged blade. If we're to stand any chance at all, it is with Livy holding some measure of control over his God Arc. A few final matters to attend to. We need far more than Fenrir intelligence. HQ, the Far East, and Cradle, all are necessary. We'll need outriders in the tree, a secure base camp, and reliable supply lines. What say you? Cradle is well versed in building satellite bases. That should serve. Later on, we'll have Alyssa meet with the old man to figure out the details. We're facing a threat unlike any before. Thank you for all you've done. <laughs>